Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the adaptive defrost control board in the Kenmore refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you will get a new adaptive defrost control board and a wiring harness that may be needed if you're replacing a board with the part numbers listed in this instruction sheet. The adaptive defrost control board, also known as ADC, is responsible for automatically switching the refrigerator from the cooling cycle to the defrost cycle and back. So, if you notice that the fresh food section is not cooling anymore, or the refrigerator stops running completely, the ADC board most likely should be replaced. The part we're going to replace is located in the fresh food compartment. Using a Phillips screwdriver, take out this screw and remove the cover panel. Using a flat blade screwdriver, pry out the corner of the front panel and then carefully remove it. Unscrew the light bulb. Next, with a quarter inch nut driver, remove two screws at the back. and two screws at the front of the control panel. Carefully lower the control panel and locate the ADC board on the right. Remove this Phillips screw and release the air diffuser control rod. Then disengage the short rod from the slider control. Disconnect this harness plug and remove the green wire. Use the Phillips screwdriver to take out these two screws. Lift the ADC and using the flat blade screwdriver, pry both harness plugs off. This is the old adaptive defrost control board next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's install the new ADC board. Connect the harness plugs. Place one of the Phillips screws on the tip of the screwdriver and put it through the hole in the control panel and then thread this screw into the matching mounting hole in the ADC. Then place another Phillips screw into the other mounting hole. Tighten both screws. Reinstall the short rod into the slider control. Secure the air diffuser control rod with the Phillips screw. Reconnect the small harness plug and clip on the green wire. Place the control panel back and secure it with four quarter inch screws. Note that the screws with the large washers are going in the back. Let's put the light bulb back in. Clip on the front panel. Reinstall the side cover and secure it with the Phillips screw. 
And now when we're done with the repair, let's close the door, plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.